What's up guys? Over the years I've made a lot of Arduino videos on this channel. I've even made some how to get started in Arduino projects and how to get started uh, on the cheap and how to make your own kits. Well you guys asked for it. You guys wanted to know how can I get in for a commercial kit? What can I buy that has everything in the box? Well, this I think is that, and we're gonna take a look today. If you're new here, make sure you click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Okay, so this is the Adept Arduino Starter Kit. You can buy this from their website or on Amazon or a few different places. I'll link down below. This is my first look at it, same as you. Holy smokes, an actual instruction manual. Like a real one. Okay, well, I'm already impressed. Most, most of the cheaper kits really do cheap out on this and expect you to go online to, to find all the information in the sketches this reminds me of a, a forest mims uh, book I, i'm dating myself there if anybody remembers forest mims put a comment down below all right well that looks impressive full color glossy pages i i like okay ultimate starter kit cd We've got, dear customer, are you satisfied? Please give us five stars or feedback. Okie dokie. This is an actual sticker for resistor color codes. I like it. They're transitioning to teaching people electronics and not just the Arduino stuff. That's pretty cool. So uh, for anybody not familiar, the color bands on resistors denote what the numerical value is. First, second, third digit, a multiplier, a tolerance, and a temperature coefficient. So, pretty cool. Two more boxes in here. Underneath the boxes, we have a pin pad uh, for like if you wanted to do a cool door entry type thing. This feels like it's an adhesive back flexible. I actually don't have one like this. All the ones I have are plastic framed and I kind of like this better. It's very, very flexible. Very cool. Breadboard. Gonna need a breadboard to make all your connections. And did we fail? No, we did not. Okay. This is what I was looking for. Lots of mail to mail jumpers because you're going to need a pile of them. But you're also going to need male to female. This comes up, I'm always short on these things. I don't know where they go. The gremlins come in and get them. But some male to females, very, very handy. Makes things a lot easier for hooking onto sensors and such. And then a bunch of resistors. 10K looks like, 1K, and that's gonna be pretty much it. That, that's enough to get you by, other than like a couple hundred ohm for LEDs or whatever, but it could use a 1K for that, I think. Some headers for soldering on to boards. Very cool. Okay, in the first box. Holy smokes, there's a pile of stuff in here. I'm going to speed through this. We've got a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. A bag with piezo transducers, relays, LEDs, transistors, probably 2N222, slide switches. Holy smokes. Actually, that's just, let's get it out. The piezo, as I mentioned, button top, RGB LED, very cool. We have, uh, is that a light sensor? We have, I have no idea what that is. I'm sure it's listed in the instructions. Capacitors, more capacitors, that slide switch, push button switches, the hat switch. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. It's two different piezo buzzers too. Two different depth. One might be active, one might be passive. Man, oh man, there's a lot of components here and this is only the first bag. Slide this out of the way. Let's see what else we got. DC motor, handy dandy. 
Potentiometers. Gonna have to have some potentiometers to do anything with Arduino. Very, very handy. Remote control. That there'll be an IR receiver in there somewhere. Okay, this actually impresses me. Check this out. This is a power supply for your breadboard. I've never seen one of these in an Arduino starter kit, to be honest. This, this is actually pretty impressive. Put this on the end of your breadboard and then you can break out both. Oof, that is stiff terminals. There. Now you have both your five point the 5 volt rail and a 3.3 3 volt rail, DC in or USB in by the looks of it, a power button, and very cool. Really handy so you can power up your breadboard externally. Ultrasonic distance measuring, handy sensor. I love this for robotics. You've seen it on my robot before. The stepper motor, also very handy thing. This... GY291, serial data, serial clock going in. Is this an accelerometer? I have to remember, I have to look this up. Uh, future me will put this over the video right now, GY291. We've got batteries in a nifty little holder so we can have our double A's and plug this right in to our power supply. Depth perception is hard looking through a camera. Should power plug right in handy dandy in here should be expecting to see an arduino soon yep handy dandy okay we've got an arduino uno this is my least favorite form factor of the arduinos to be honest i like the nanos much better for the same processor it's got the old style large usb like a printer usb Again, not my most favorite, but totally capable board. All your IO is here and this will get you started. Still have a whole nother box here. Holy smokes. Okay, that's a stepper driver for driving our stepper motor. This is a passive infrared sensor. These are fantastic little PIR sensors. You've seen them in my videos before. I did a home security system IoT hooked to a ESP8266 with this very sensor. Very, very easy to work with, well and truly proven. It's got, I uh, can't remember what the two potentiometers are for. It's on the data sheet linked in my other video. One's for distance and sensitivity. Uh, I forget how it breaks out can't even see what's in this one. Ah, a rocker uh, a joystick. Very, very cool. A full analog joystick. That is handy for all kinds of projects. Robotics projects, you name it. A 9 gram servo. You're going to need one of these. You need to drive an output or open a latch or whatever or pan and tilt your actually just pan your ultrasonic distance sensor to look around on your robot perfect got a servo usb cable various displays uh, no backing no daughter boards uh, these are manual so you're gonna have to wire to every segment which is actually kind of a downside wiring up one of these is a lot of wires to hook this up actually hold on no it is a manual process on that but no big deal you've got to learn so it's a fun thing i used one of these to you to do my apu on my learjet a while back again there's a tutorial linked on this channel i'll try and link them down below various ic's I'm not even going to try and pull these up these five 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 times one is a 555 timer and i'm not sure what the other one is and we also got what i'm assuming is an lcd display wonderful wonderful little lcd display looks like spi communication probably just great to learn on these things you can put your display out to your project i would go ahead and buy a nokia 5110 or an oled uh, the 5110s are great, or the I2C OLEDs. Uh, once you use this once or twice, then maybe switch over to those, or these work good for some projects when you need a longer, skinnier scale. Wonderful. So that is the kit. The Adept Arduino kit. 
We'll go ahead and we'll make a couple of projects with it and use these parts in upcoming videos, but I've used them on the channel here tons of times before. This is well tried and proven equipment. The price point they're selling this for, I think is very reasonable for someone getting into the hobby and being able to have everything in one box to get them started. As you know, I often advocate for build it yourself and buy the components one by one. But if you just want to get started, maybe a project with your kids or whatever, I think this is a very reasonable option that you should check out. Links down below. If you enjoy these videos, if you like what I'm doing here, make sure you click a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you guys next video.